find two vectors parallel to v of the given length. So here we have vector v defined by the components 15, negative 20, 0. And we want this new vector to have a length of 20. So here, let's think about what we want. We are looking for some new vector. We'll say u. So u is equal to what? And it's such that u and v are parallel. And we also want this new vector u to have a length or a magnitude of 20. So let's quickly, we'll begin here by recalling what it means for two vectors to be parallel. And so we can say that u and v are parallel if they are scalar multiples. That means u is equal to some scalar multiplied by vector v, where c is some real number. So thinking about what we're given here, we have vector v is defined as 15, negative 20, 0. So we can see that this vector here has a scalar multiple of 5. So we can rewrite this as 5 multiplied by the vector 3, negative 4, 0. So we want to think about this vector here. We'll call it v0. So thinking about vector v0, we want to find its magnitude. So that's going to be the square root of 3 squared and gives us 9, plus minus 4 squared is 16, plus 0 squared is 0. So we have the square root of 25, which is 5. So we need a new vector, u, that is 4 times this length. So if we define vector u as being 4 times this vector v0, or 4 multiplied by 3 times negative 4 times 0, which gives us 12, negative 16, 0. We've obtained a vector that is parallel to this given v, but has a length of 20. Right, and so we can find so this, this vector u here is in the same direction as the given v. And then if we want to find another vector, because we need two vectors parallel to v, we could throw a negative in the front. So we can say an alternative vector would be minus vector 12, negative 16, 0. And if we distribute that in negative, we're left with negative 12, positive 16, 0. So both of these vectors u are parallel to v with a magnitude of 20, and the second vector here is in the opposite direction as v. And then just to double check our work here, let's make sure that these new vectors have a magnitude of 20. We want to check here. We want to make sure that these two new vectors we found, in fact, have a length of 20. So finding this magnitude, we have vector u. And we can actually evaluate both vectors simultaneously. We can say this is the square root of plus or minus 12 squared plus plus or minus 16 squared plus 0 squared. So this becomes the square root of 144 plus 16 or negative 16 squared leaves us with 256 and then 0 is 0. So we have 144 plus 256 leaves us with the square root of 400, which we recognize as 20 times 20 or 20 squared, which leaves us with 20. So these two boxed vectors up here are two vectors parallel to the given v with a magnitude of 20.